The PNG national men's touch team is an old PNG heritage and based in Brisbane. Amidst the COVID-19 travel restrictions, the event brought together the best players from around Australia to showcase their sporting excellence in touch rugby league. The PNG men's team, led by captain Nate Woods, went through their pool games undefeated to finish first overall and winning a grand final ticket to face a star-studded New Zealand outfit who were fresh of a victory earlier against Australia. In the first play of the game, Deshaun Lifu Bray caught a spiraling kickoff and ran the full length of the field to score one of the best tries ever seen on a touch rugby league field. Tyler's line defense kept the New Zealanders out as Christian Pang defused a crossfield bomb to keep the opposition from scoring an AFL try, which is worth two points, keeping the New Zealanders scoreless until half time. In the second stanza, both teams held their line well defensively. After countless sets at the PNG line, New Zealand finally cracked it, scoring from the wing. As the clock wandered down, New Zealand put up another crossfield bomb, which Ravu Henao flew through the air to catch and save the try. Later, in a 2 on 1 situation, Nate Hambo intercepted the ball by batting it up and saving what would have been a certain try. End of regular time, the score was tied up 1 all. In the first set of Golden Point overtime, Marlon Doak accelerated past the defense, linking up with Ravu Henao to streak away only to be ruled a no try as he stepped out. With the overtime bars looming, Deshaun Lifu Bray sidestepped a would be defender and passed to Captain Nate Wood, who dived in for the match winning try to seal the deal for PNG. The scene turned into raptures as supporters and players stormed the field, embracing one another and chanting PNG, PNG. In fact, it was PNG's first win in any World Cup. Terry Longwood, TV1 Sports.